Is this the end then? Well, it will be. By the time you see this, there'll only be a few hours left and then 2021 will be over and we'll be into 2022. Let's go and have a look at what's sitting outside. So here's one that you've rarely seen on the channel. I think there was one photograph of it on the channel back in the beginning when I started everything. This is my 1993 or 94 Toyota Hilux Surf. Uh, some people may know it as a Toyota 4Runner. It is a four wheel drive and uh, the work that it needs, obviously we need a new front end to go on there. I do have a winch, a winch bumper and a bull bar to go on. Let's jump inside that one and we'll go through everything else that's parked up here behind me. All of these. Right then fellas and fellarettes, here we are inside my 93, 94 Toyota Hilux Surf. I just thought I'd uh, sit in here for a change because we haven't sat in this one before and indeed you haven't seen this one on the channel at all. So it's pretty much standard inside, but it does need a little bit of work. Now on this one, we need to have, um, well the chassis needs cleaning underneath because it's a, it, it hasn't rotted out altogether, but it is looking a bit rusty and a bit ropey. So that needs cleaning, possibly repainting. Uh, there's some bits and pieces of the suspension they need looking at. It also needs a, another turbo, which I do have ready to go in. An exhaust manifold, obviously all the gaskets, uh, it is only a 2.4 litre diesel, so not the fastest, not the most powerful, but it, it runs perfectly well for what I need. The four wheel drive system does work, but I want to go and do a little bit more modification to it. I'd like it to be higher. It currently sits on a four inch body lift, so the body is four inches higher than it would be on the original ones when they came from the factory back in Toyota. As you can see, there's my 1975 Ford Ranchero. Now that one presently is a 5.7 V8, uh, it's powered by a C4, I believe it is in that, but it's a C4 gearbox in that one. Um, with it being a mid-70s truck, what I'd like to do with this is to lift it at the back, so it'll be your traditional mid-70s modification, so ass up, nose down, roll bar in the back, possibly with some lights on it, and uh, the most important difference, obviously on the front of it, and do some work on the engine because it's just standard at the moment and it's full of emissions so all the emission stuff is going to be taken off and i'd like to go and put a supercharger through the bonnet so we're hoping that we're going to get that in place i'm currently looking for a supercharger and an inlet manifold to go underneath it if anybody knows where there is one that's reasonably priced if we are working to a budget don't forget everything on this channel is a budget build uh, so we're hoping to get that done and fabricate some zoomy exhausts so that they come out the side of the car and curl up the side of the bodywork. The Ranchero is running and driving, it's on the road. The charger is a automatic, it's a 383 cubic inch V8, uh, column shift gear change, it's a 727 auto box. And uh, it's pretty much standard as it came from the factory, apart from all the work that you've seen me do on it. Well, I took all the cooling system apart and removed the uh, the air compressor and then put the new radiator in. Other than that, I've done an upgrade to the brakes. It's got disc brakes on the front. It's still on the drums at the back. Uh, all the brakes have been renewed. And, uh, that's also running. It's not driving at the moment because there is a leak on one of the transmission coolant pipes. Uh, I do have the spare pipes now. They have arrived. I just need to have the weather and the space to get under it and put the pipes on. And then that technically is on the road running and driving although there is some bodywork issues that need looking to uh, looking at at the back of the car which we'll go into more detail next time we do a video on the charger hiding up there in the corner next to the charger there's the mustang now that's not my mustang it's sitting here at the moment because it's waiting for a couple of bits and pieces to come in from the states once they get here that'll be uh, away and that'll be getting repaired the current owner is doing the work on that one or having the work done on that one themselves now it's only a v6 it's a 3.8 uh, it's also automatic but it's used as a daily driver as or it will be used as a daily driver as well as um running around the car meets and various car shows and then of course over there in the corner it's my 69 el camino uh, that one is running driving and it is currently for sale so if you want a 1969 El Camino, it's a 350 with a TH350 box. 
if you want one or you know nobody who wants one and you're in the UK or even if you're in the States and you want to have it imported back over to yourselves over there get in touch in the comments below or email me email uh, email details are down in the description and uh, and you'll be able to see if we can come to an arrangement or come to a deal and you can be driving away uh, in that as soon as you want to so that's all the cars we have on the channel at the moment finally what we've got is as you can see the garage there in front of the ranchero and the charger so the garage as you know uh, if you've watched all of the videos or the earlier videos on the channel i'm busy doing some work on the garage now if you can see the framework down the side of the garage on the on the left there uh, that's where the extension is going to be so i'm going to extend the garage uh, it's about two two or three foot to the side and uh, also since the last storms we had we've had some roof damage to the garage as well so once the roof panel is uh, is repaired on the garage and stops uh, the, and the leaks are stopped and once it's extended to the side what i'm going to do is extend it backwards uh, there's a shed behind it which i'm going to attach the garage to so it'll give us a, a longer space to keep the cars in and then we'll be able to get a couple of cars inside the garage so we'll be able to work on those regardless of whatever the weather conditions are as for the channel then um well i want to grow the channel uh, let me know in the in the details below guys um are you liking the videos that i'm doing so far would you like the videos to be longer or would you like them to stay pretty much as they are the, the first part of the charger cooling system series was taking everything off and then there was putting the radiator in and then there was putting everything else in and then obviously there was the there was the startup and the same with the ranchero uh, when i did the starting relay and the starter motor uh, that was broken down into sections do you like seeing videos like that or would you rather see the whole thing so would you rather have seen me take everything off the charger put everything back and put all the new stuff back on the charger and then fire it up all in one video or do you prefer to see it in sections where i break it down and uh, we take everything apart and then in the next video we'll put everything back on in the video after that we'll see if it'll start up tell me below in the comments guys uh what you'd like to see and we'll uh, we'll do those videos for you i have no problem doing longer videos but if you want to see shorter ones we'll leave them as they are if you want to see the longer videos we'll make them longer so you can get into more detail and you can enjoy them more now for those of you that were able to come to any of uh, my cars and coffee meets throughout last summer uh, they're still going to continue they have continued all the way through the winter we don't stop them we'll keep those going all the way through the air at uh, every wednesday night every sunday morning all at millie's american diner and they run all year round so 52 weeks of the year they run constantly so if you've been enjoying those if you managed to attend any of the ones last year and you enjoyed those ones make sure you put it in your diary that we're on this year uh, all the way through the year there's uh, there's one happening this Sunday, January the 2nd, if you're in the area and you want to pop along and, uh, and meet some of the gang that bring the cars down through the summer. If you want to meet me, uh, come along Millie's American Diner this Sunday from 10 o'clock in the morning and we'll be there. So it's cars and coffee on a Wednesday and cars and bacon buddies on a Sunday morning. And when this season starts up again, I will be attending as many car shows as I can get to throughout the summer months as well as getting to the drag strips. Now the drag strips in the UK, we've got Santa Pod and we've got Melbourne Raceway over in York. Um, I'm hoping to get back to Santa Pod this year and I'm hoping to get down to Melbourne Raceway for the first time since it reopened. I'm also going to throw in some random stuff into the channel, so some random videos just to break it up a little bit. So it's still going to be car related uh, videos, car related stuff to play around with. Uh, there will be Lego, so if you're a Lego fan, as I said in one of my previous videos, uh, keep an eye out. The channel's not changing, it's still going to be mostly all cars classic american cars classic muscle cars all built or rebuilt on a budget here at double zero garage so i would just like to say a huge thank you and i mean that i really do appreciate the views that we're getting from all of you uh, they really help support the channel they really help the channel grow we are starting to see in the in all the graphs that the arrows are now going up especially after the shorts that i've been posting now if you've seen the shorts that i've posted i did two with regards to the trucks um one was the just warming up for the Camino and one was the just warming up for the Ranchero. Now the Ranchero one exploded and to date it's had over 1,600 views 
It's absolutely fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for uh, for watching that one. Even though it was only about 16 seconds long, um, it literally exploded overnight, hour by hour. It was it was getting over 200 views, over 300 views. Absolutely fantastic. And on the back of putting those two shorts on, um, it gained another four subscribers. So I'd like to say a huge thank you. I really do appreciate all the subscribers taking the time out of the day to watch my videos. I sincerely hope that you're still enjoying the videos and you're going to stick around. Uh, share this one, share them all, tell all your friends. Let me know in the comments below, do you want merch? Um, I'm happy to do some merch, we can do t-shirts, we can do mugs, we can do stickers. Uh, let me know if you want any merch, guys. I really hope that you had a great Christmas and you're looking forward to a fantastic new year. Thanks, fellas and fellarettes. Bye for now.